This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Prime. Hello and welcome. You're watching the Property Show North Edition. This is the show where we curate, call out and shortlist best buyers in your budget. And to do so, I have with me in the studio Akash Bansal, Business Head North and Director of Lysis Forest. Welcome to the show, Akash. Thanks, Rita. And before we begin, let's take a quick look at the headlines. After taking a hit by the demonetization storm, real estate is spinning its hope onto big bank reforms and SOPs in this year's budget will get you real estate sector's wish list. Villages near Greater Noida continue to put, in, put up with dismal and broken roads, demand authorities to act if they want vote. Properties from reputed developers in Gurgaon under two and a half crores. Prime property along Noida Expressway. Also coming up, affordable housing options in Dharuhera. And property uh, market of Jaipur to be covered for projects in a budget of 70 lakh rupees. Also on the show, best two BHK deals in the emerging real estate destinations of Mohali. Our very first caller, Pankaj, is on the phone line with us. Pankaj, welcome to the property show. Please go ahead with your question. Hello. Thank you very much. I think you guys are doing a great job in giving advice on the property purchases all across India. Uh, actually, I'm looking for a luxury 4 BHK apartment in some exclusive project in Gurgaon for self-use, which can be ready in one to two years. My budget is 2.5 crores. I've seen a couple of projects on Gold Coast Extension Road. One of the projects is named REO Victory Valley, and the other one I saw was my M3M Merlin. And I also saw one project on SPR Road, Tata Pimanti. Uh, please suggest best property among these three options, which I have seen. And if you can uh, provide any other option from your end in the same budget in the luxury 4 BHK. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you, Pankaj. So, uh, Pankaj is looking for uh, a 4 BHK luxury house. His budget is about 2.5 crore rupees. Is that an appropriate budget? And he's also shortlisted three projects. Uh, what do we have for him, Akash? See, basically the micro market that he has chosen, you know, there's a combination of two micro market. One is a golf course extension road and another one is a southern periphery road. So, golf course extension road is actually uh, an affordable uh, uh, alternative to the prestigious golf course road, which is, which is beyond the budget and there's a very limited inventory in the golf course road and the prices are going upward of 13 to 14,000 rupees a square feet. So, so alternative golf course extension road is a is upcoming a luxury market and it, it has got a very excellent connectivity uh, to uh, to golf course road and uh, another NH8 and the main corridors like the main commercial hubs like a cyber city and all. So uh, looking at the location and looking at the uh, you know um, uh, interact interaction from the other commercial component point of view, both the micro markets like a golf course extension road and the southern periphery uh, road are the good uh, project, uh, good areas to invest into. When we talk about you know uh, projects in, the, in both the micro market, when we talk about golf course extension road, it has around 15 projects with a total supply of around only 1,000 units with the builder. And uh, the inventory overhang here is around 47 months and the weighted average price here ranges around 11 to 12,000 rupees a square feet. Then the area has seen negative of 5% growth per annum in last three years. So this, this makes, uh, you know, uh, it's, uh, makes the right time to invest into this particular micro market. When we talk about Sonar Road and SPR, the total projects are around 44 with the uh, available unsold supply of around 10 to 11,000 units. Weighted average price here ranges around uh, 8,200 to 8,300 rupees uh, square feet and the area has seen an annualized return of 2.9% per annum in last three years. When we coming to you know uh, your, your suggested uh, projects, one of them is like all these uh, chosen projects, if you go uh, to the builder to buy these projects so all these projects are going to be beyond your budget but uh, there are very lucrative and very uh, uh, good deals available in the resale market so you can go into the resale market and get 
an apartment. So when we talk about Ario Valley, uh, it's, it's a unique project which claims to have a tallest tower in Kudgaon. Project is nearing completion now and it is definitely a good choice to invest into. And the second one is M3M Merlin which is a delayed project but is now close to completion. LNT is doing the construction work and, and given its current resale price which is around 6,500 to 7,500 rupees a square feet, it's a defini definitely a good bet to invest into. Tata Primanti which is the third project which, which you suggested is partially ready now and is a luxury project from a branded developers like Tata. It's a 36 acre 36 to 37 acres integrated development project is another outstanding choice for the end use so from if you're looking from an end use point of view Tata Primanti is a good bet and if you're looking from a you know investment and uh, end use both point of view like you know both IRIO and M3M are the good project but these are partially completed partially ready and uh, the completion of Victory Valley is likely to be in 2017 M3M Merlin is also likely to be in 2017 whereas in Tata Primanti you know part of uh, the project is ready which is uh, uh, which has been possession has been given and part of the project is going to be completed by 2017 and 2018 so you can invest accordingly well so pankaj all three are good choices of uh, project for you uh, but remember if you can get it from resale market try and bargain hard and get it from the resale market because if you're buying it from developer it may cost you slightly higher than expected uh, for all three choices of yours i'll read out the details for you here victory valley by ario group uh, located in sector 67 you can get a flat here for about 9200 rupees per square foot it is available with the developers being built on about 25 acres of land with 30 towers uh, project is about four kilometers from golf course extension road and about four kilometers from Indus World School. The construction is in finishing stages and possession is expected by end of 2017. Uh, your second uh, choice of M3M Merlin by M3M India. You can get a flat here for about 9,000 rupees per square foot. This project too is avail uh, you know, available with the developer and it's being built on about 13 acres of land with 10 towers. It is located in sector 67, about four kilometers from Sona Gurgaon Road and three kilometers from Indus World School. The construction is in finishing stages and possession is expected by early 2017. And your final uh, choice of project, which is Tata Piramanti by Tata Housing. You can get a flat here for about 9,500 rupees per square foot. Uh, this uh, project is also located in sector 72, close to sector 64. It's being built on about 36 acres of land with about seven towers. Uh, it's three kilometers from Raheja Mall and about six kilometers from Golf Course Extension Road. Few towers are completed and possession for these are being sent out while the others Star, other towers are expected to complete by mid of 2018. All three projects have very good amenities. Well, next we have an email from Harshul who's written to us from Noida. His budget is about 70 lakh rupees. He's also chosen uh, a project by Tata Housing and he wishes to know how the project is going to do. He's planning to shift by 2018 or 2019 and wants to know what, what are the good options available in this particular region. What do we have for him, Akash? See, this project of Tata's is in sector 150. And when we talk about this particular micro market, this micro market is a Noida, Greater Noida Expressway, which is an uh, emerging market and a very good uh, uh, location. And there are a number of projects and number of uh, options available from an investment point of view. So you have chosen like, you know, this location is a very good uh, in, in, in this particular budget. And when we talk about, you know, uh, uh, the IT, ITS uh, and other infrastructure within a close vicinity of this particular micro market, there's a lot Lot of commercial, lot of IT, ITS development, lot of employment generation. So that gives a boost to the real estate sector, prefer specifically to the residential real estate sector. And when we talk about you know numbers in this particular area, uh, there are around 42 projects with the unsold inventory of around 14 to uh, 14,500 units. And uh, the weighted average price here ranges around 5,300 rupees a square feet. And uh, uh, the area has seen an annualized return of around 3% per annum in last three years. When we talk about you know your your preferred uh, project, which is a Tata, so this this is a, this project is actually uh, an entry uh, of Tata's into the Noida market. Tata Housing is already developing a handful of uh, good projects in Gurgaon, and this is actually a, um, an agreement uh, with the local builders called Locus Lotus uh, Greens, which has also done a similar kind of arrangement with the Godrej properties. So all at present, you know, uh, all the project details are very tentative, and hence they are subject to change, but. 
you know uh, since you are looking at a 2018 or a 19 kind of possession so it will be slightly difficult for this project to deliver by that particular time frame because they are looking at a completion by around 2020 and uh, sector 150 is a good choice to invest because the FAR in this particular area is uh, is uh, is too whereas in rest of the Noida it's around 3 to 3.25 so the location is good and the project is also very good but you know uh, but since if you are looking at a uh, nearing completion or a nearing uh, possession project then this is not the right project so uh, the other project that that you can look at which is going to be completed by 2018 or 19 is Mahagun Meadows by Mahagun India which is in sector 150 second one is Gulshan Bot uh, Botnia by Gulshan Homes this is in sector 144 this is going to be completed by 2019 so Tata housing is a good project and these are the two more options which you can explore so Tata Housing is a very good project. Uh, the likely project name, which is uh, the destination, is uh, subject to change depending on the fine prints of the project. Uh, the project is located in sector 150. You can get a flat here for about 4,300 rupees per square foot. Uh, the project will be uh, ready by uh, about 2020. So it's slightly uh, going to take a slightly more time from what you are expected to move in. Uh, it's being built on about 20 acres of land with 20 towers. It is about six kilometers from RPS international schools and nine kilometer from uh, Gotham Buddh University. Uh, the project has very good amenities but again if you're likely to move in by 2018 or 2019 we have two more recommendations for you. The first is Mahagun Meadows by Mahagun India. You can get a flat here for about 4,800 rupees per square foot. Uh, the project is being built on seven acres of land and has about two integrated towers. This project is located in sector 150. It's about three kilometers from RPS International School and about six kilometers from Billa Institute of Management. Uh, at present, the superstructure work is going on and you can expect possession by 2018. Our second recommendation that we have for you is Gulshan Botnia by Gulshan Homes. Uh, it's located in sector 144 and you can get a flat here for about 4,200 rupees per square foot. This project is being built on about five acres of land and has 12 towers. The project construction has just started and the project is expected to be delivered by 2019. Uh, this project too is close to uh, various schools and has good amenities. But just like Harshal, if you're confused whether you should invest or not invest and want any buying or selling related uh, uh, advice, then write to us at property at ndtv.com. Please don't forget to leave your full name and contact number so that our team here can get in touch with you. Next, we have Charan Pal Singh on the phone line. Uh, welcome to the show, sir. Please go ahead with your question. Madam, see, I am a retired employee and uh, only we are, uh, myself and my wife is with me and we have got no dependent. We, I am looking for a property. Property means a house or apartment uh, in and around the Chandigarh with a budget of 40, 45 lakhs. The house should be ready to move with the two, three bedrooms or uh, preferably spacious bedrooms. Can you suggest me some builder or uh, some good construction where uh, a retired person can live? Sure, Mr. Singh. So, uh, Akash, uh, Mr. Singh is looking for a, 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 a property, a 3 BHK, or ready to move in is what he prefers. His budget is about 40 to 45 lakh rupees. He's also chosen three uh, locations, preferred locations, which are Chandigarh, Mohali and Panchkula. Uh, do we have anything in these locations that fit into his budget? See, basically, I think, you know, it will be difficult to get uh, uh, options in Chandigarh and Panchkula because there's a limited, in, number one, there's a limited inventory. Number two, the pricing for the ready um, properties are going to be beyond 40 45 lakh rupees budget that he has so mohali is a ideal uh, location to invest into this particular you know uh, in, in this particular price range and there's a there's an ample supply there's a good uh, uh, small and a medium or a large scale developments which can give you um, uh, good options but in mohali also you need to you know look at a larger 2 bhk or a you know 2 bhk because 3 bhk may slightly go beyond you know 50 lakh rupees budget so you can look at a 2 bhk or a larger 2 BHK. So, like, if you talk about the, you know, uh, benefits of Mohali, you know, there there are a couple of uh, good uh, plus points uh, which which are in favor of Mohali. Uh, like, you know, uh, Mohali is uh, uh, there's a proposed international airport which is likely to boost the real estate sector of Mohali. And when we talk about the roads and other plans, the government is spending you know good amount of money into the infrastructure, like a road infrastructure, sewage infrastructure, etc. And when we talk about you know projects in this particular micro market, there are around 66 projects with the unsold supply of around. 
around 7,900 units, and the weighted average price here ranges around 2,800 uh, uh, to 2,900 rupees per square feet, and the area has seen an annualized return of 0.3 percent per annum in the last three years. So there's a negligible growth in the last three years. So it's the right time to invest into this particular area. And uh, when we talk about you know the couple of good options which you can invest into, which are which are actually ready to move in, one is the Rise, which is by IRIO developer in sector 99. So you can invest into that, which is a which is a uh, recently completed project. Another one is a Gilco Heights by sector 120 uh, uh, by Gilco developers in sector 127. So this was completed in 2013, and you will get in a resale market. The third project is the Imperial Heights, which is, which is also a recently completed, and this is in sector 115. So you can invest into any of these three completed projects. So well, on the given choice of locations for you, what we have to tell you right now is that Chandigarh and Panchkula will be out of your budget. So uh, we expect you to look into Mohali and there too you may not get a 3BHK in your current budget. So you may have to look for a larger 2BHK. But the three recommendations that we have for you in Mohali, the first is the rise by IRIO, uh, which is located in sector 99. You can get a flat here for about 3,600 rupees per square foot. The IRIO uh, uh, is being built on seven acres of land with total three blocks. It's a part of IRIO's larger development across sector 150, uh, in, uh, across sector 98 and 99 and being built on a total land area of 150 acres. Project construction is in finishing stages and you can expect possession by later this year. Uh, this project has good amenities and you can get a bank loan from any of the nationalized banks. Our second recommendation that we have for you is Gilco Heights by Gilco Developers, located in sector 127. You can get a flat here for about 3,500 rupees per square foot. This project is available in the resale market. It is also a part of larger Gilco, uh, Gilco Valley, being built on about 350 acres of integrated township, uh, which has commercial spaces. The project is well uh, habited at this point in time, and it's close to uh, uh, Gilco International School, which is also in the proximity. The township is, has excellent localities. Uh, that include pool, sim and uh, swimming pools to start with. And then our third recommendation that we have for you, Imperial Heights by WWIC Estates. You can get a flat here for about 2,900 rupees per square foot. This project is with the developer right now uh, and it's being built on about six acres of land with total 10 towers. It is uh, on excellent location, bang on Karar, uh, Banur Road uh, and has very good townships in and around this particular project. It is fully approved and you can avail uh, bank finance from any of the nationalized bank for this project too. Our next caller Vipul is on the phone line with us. Vipul, welcome to the property show. Please go ahead with your question. Yeah, hello. I am Vipul Gupta from Ghaziabad. Actually, I want to invest in uh, Crossing Republic Ghaziabad. The builder I have selected is Cross Kings uh, Hold. So, I just want to know about the uh, how is the uh, property in the Crossing Republic Ghaziabad, the Kings apartment, and how is the builder? And uh, how is the legal experience and legal compliance? Uh, all the legal compliances are fulfilled by the builder or not? Well, Whipple is looking for a property in Ghaziabad. He's chosen uh, 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 Republic as one of his preferred choice of location. Uh, he's actually also looked at a project, Kingswood Court Apartment. Is that, the, is that a right choice of project for you, Akash? Do you have any other alternatives for him? See, there are a couple of alternatives and you know the, the project that he has chosen is a standard kind of project and there are many comparable properties. Uh, but before that, you know, Crossing Republic is a good choice to invest into because the budget that he has chosen around 40 to 50 lakh rupees, I think 50 lakh rupees is a good budget. And uh, he will get a number of good options and Crossing Republic has the largest uh, inventory of ready to move in kind of uh, properties. And when we talk about, you know, the location, it is bang on NH24, which provides it a very good connectivity to Ghazi. Uh, Noida, Greater Noida and Delhi and when we talk about you know uh, established budget housing micro market you know Crossing Republic is one of them and you know uh, let's talk about numbers this particular micro market has around 17 projects with the unsold inventory of around only 1400 to 1500 units the weighted average price here ranges around 3350 rupees per square feet and the area has seen an annualized return of 5% per annum in last three years when we talk about this particular project which is a Kingswood Court is a small 
standard mid segment project it has it's very small project with, with only three towers and there's nothing extraordinary with this project and there are plenty of other comparable options in crossing republics which offers benefits of a bigger society and a slightly better quality of development if like you know the budget of around 50 lakh is not a constraint for crossing republic so weighted average price here ranges around 3350 rupees that we mentioned so you'll get a good choices so uh, the another choices which you can explore is one of them is a wellington by panchil build tech uh, which is at uh, 3500 rupees per square foot which is ready to move in second project that you can look at is mahagun mascot uh, which is also a ready to move in project and uh, this is by mahagun india so you can invest into any of these two projects so well, Vipul, it's a good choice of uh, location for you. If you look at Crossings Republic, getting an annualized return of about 5% in this particular market, which is a good, uh, decent annualized return at this point in time. Uh, but for your preferred uh, choice of Kingswood Court, we would suggest that you have better options available in this particular budget. Uh, you can get a flat here in Kingswood Infrastructure, uh, by Kingswood Infrastructure for about 3,400 rupees per square foot. This project is being built on about one and a half acres of land with three towers. It is located on main internal road in Crossings Republic and about one and a half kilometers from NH24. Project has good amenities like landscape garden, jogging track, kids play area, manicure green, sit outs, drop off and club among others. However, we have two better uh, you know, choice of projects for you so that you can look into any of these two uh, recommendations. The first is Wellington by Punch Shield Build Tech. You can get a flat here for about 3,500 rupees per square foot. It's a ready to move in project and it's also available in the resale market. Uh, it's being built on about, uh, uh, it has about six towers and of 23 stories and project is located bang on uh, Crossings Republic, NH24 Ghaziabad Road. It's about five kilometers from Uttam Hospital and two kilometers from Dolphin Public School. It's a ready to move in project, as I mentioned, and has very good amenities. Our second recommendation for you is Mahagun Mascot uh, by Mahagun India. You can get a flat here for about 3,400 rupees per square foot. Uh, this project too is ready to move in and it's available in, the, available in the resale market for you. It's being built on about 14 acres and uh, has about 16 towers. Uh, it is located in sector 11 in Crossings Republic, about 5 km from Ghaziabad railway station. Uh, and project amenities include water bodies, amphitheater, yoga deck, mini golf course, a commercial mart among others. So that's a whole lot of amenities there in these two recommended projects. Well, even as the government is committed to complete rural roads connecting hinterlands of India by 2019, the pace of work under Pradhan Mantri Grameen Sarok Yojana has been relatively slow. This despite an allocation of 19,000 crores in Budget 2016. In the run-up to Budget 2017, we travelled to a village close to the national capital of India to map the success of the rural road scheme. Take a look. <music> After no home, no vote, citizens of this village in Greater Noida are raising the slogan, No Road, No Vote. The roads of this village, which is barely 50 kilometers from national capital, remains dismal, even as rural roads remain a top priority of the government. Well, what looks like sludge and mud is actually the main road connecting about two villages here in Greater Noida, Khedi and Bhanota, which is a home to about 5,500 localites. Villages have been long awaiting to be rescued from these roads, but nothing has been done so far. It's the citizens of Khedi and Bhanota who are bearing the brunt of these deadly roads. Some of the locals say that even the first aid can't reach them on time. बहुत ज़्यादा दिक्कत है। अगर कोई मर गया बताओ इसी में कैसे ले जाऊँ? सिर्फ को उठा के कैसे ले जाऊँ? मैं नहीं बताऊँगा। अगर किसी की शादी है बाहर के लोग बाग आते हैं, अरे ये क्या हो रहा? भैया हम क्या कर सकें? हमने बहुत बेर कंप्लेंट कर दी है, कुछ नहीं मिलता। जब ये रास्ता ऐसे है तो गिर भी गिर भी जाते हैं रात चार लोग गिरे थे मैं भी गिरा था देखो अब भी गिर गया था ये देखो टांग में लगी हुई है और जो आने जाने वाले यात्री हैं उनको भी बहुत ज़्यादा दिक्कत होती है। Despite approaching the authority, there has been no progress since 2011. As local authorities continue to pass the buck, activists are mobilizing citizens to speak up. 
अथॉरिटीज़ के पास हम पिछले कई साल में कई बार गए हैं गांव के कुछ लोग एकजुट होके भी गए हैं इंडिविजुअल भी गए हैं चिट्ठियाँ भी लिखी हैं तो अलग अलग एक्सक्यूज देते हैं वो लोग कभी कहते हैं कि अभी चुनाव आ गए हैं इसलिए नहीं कर रहे हैं कभी कहते हैं फंड क्राइसिस हैं कभी कहते हैं कि आपके यहाँ का सीवर कनेक्शन अभी आ, नहीं बन पाया है तो इसलिए हम आपका रोड कैसे बना सकते हैं तो सड़क ना बनाने के उन्होंने बहुत से बहाने दिए अलग अलग बहाने दिए हैं When contacted, sources at Greater Noida authorities say that an estimate worth 1.9 crore rupees for the roads in these villages has been laid out and tenders will be floated after completion of election process in the state. When probed as to why the work hasn't been done for this long, authorities say that it was the villagers who refused to cooperate. So while the government continues to increase budget reallocation for rural roads implementation of the scheme remains an impending task while funding may not be a problem in villages like kheri and bhanota it's the execution that remains a miss so well that's the uh, citizens of up waiting to be rescued from dismal roads in a remote village in noida and it's time for a quick commercial break but on the other side with budget around the corner we spell out expectations of real estate players for you also coming up on the show 2 bhk in noida under 60 lakh rupees